He went to Flatlander, says to us Vermonters, he says, boy, the weather around here is pretty iffy. You know what we're all proud to say, Vermonters? Well, you know what they say in Vermont? If you don't like the weather, all you got to do is wait five minutes. Well, I've been all over the United States of America, several places outside of it. Guess what, Vermonters? They say that everywhere. <laughs> and it ain't true. I didn't like the weather last winter. I froze my behind off in January for three weeks. So I think we should change that saying to what it should be in the first place. When a flatlander says, boy, the weather around here is pretty punky, you look at them and say, well, you know what they say in Vermont? If you don't like the weather, all you got to do is get back in your Lexus convertible and head to hell home to Connecticut, you peckerhead. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to the Chandler Music Hall. It's beautiful. Oh, man, is it ever. Thank you to Randolph for having me in here. I've been having fun the past two weeks coming in and out of here, setting this up. Thank you very much. What's that? I, I don't hear what you're saying. Let me turn up my hearing aid. Oh, you're saying you're welcome? Oh, thank you. Oh, I see. You saw it out front, brand new. Thank you to Formula Ford down there selling trucks and cars and everything to all us people around here in Fire and Wide. Thank you to them. That's Formula Ford. And also, the farmers that own Cabot. Cabot cheese, best in Vermont. Best in the world, you Wisconsin son of a gun, you bagger. You know, like <laughs> uh, You know, and what's important here is, um, well, everything's important, I guess, and nothing is. But uh, I got a call from a publisher. Who said to me, he asked me if I wanted to write a column. Mm. I said, no. He said, well, no. I said, I don't know how to write. I don't know adjectives or verbs or nothing. He says, well, you don't really know how to have to know, have to, know how to write like that to write a good column. <laughs> I said, well, what would I write about? He said, anything you want. I said, you don't want to tell me that. You know, anyway. <laughs> so well, I got all of you nice people here, kind and gracious, all ages and sizes and shapes and everything, I'd like to read for you my first column. I don't know if the M or the N is last on that word. It's like that boy's name Lloyd with two L's. Lloyd. And then, I, I don't know if you're supposed to double it or stretch it out further. Lloyd or Lloyd, you know. Or that man's boy's name Jeffrey with a G. Jeffrey is like Jeffrey. I mean, if it ain't J-E-F-F-R-E-Y, it shouldn't be nothing at all, I hate to tell you. Or Aaron, the boy's name with two A's, and the first one's big. Ah, Aaron. <laughs> ah, Aaron. What the hell? You know, I don't have no kids, you know. I ain't bred yet. <laughs> well, I've bred. <laughs> I just ain't bred to hide. I bred hard. I just think bread shows to send the little squigglies from the wading pool into the deep end. Yeah, but if I ever do and I have three boys, I'm going to name them Lloyd Gaffrin. Aaron. I'll say, I'll say, hey, Lloyd Gaffrin. Aaron. Come on inside here, Daddy's new column. And if you want to stay outside, at least put your hats on. I don't want you catching pneumonia. I had enough trouble in school without them putting phantom friggin' letters in where, as you know. They want you to know the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right down through Y. Yet they grade you A, B, C, D, F. Where's the E? You can get an A, you can get B, you can get C, you can get D, you can get F, can't get no E. Where the hell did the E go to? You ever think about that, huh? I did. I figured it out. I chat people stole it. E. E. <laughs> Line three. I do, I, I do, I screw, I screw around with the nurse bad. She's like, Line five. I'm like, She's like, uh, Line nine. By the time we got down to line 11, we was dancing around having so much freaking fun that she ended up checking my prostate right there. I was like, ah! I said, guy, put that pony car up, put that car I'm like, how am I doing? She says, well, I don't know how well you can see, but crept so much, I'll bet a week's pay that you can fire the marble across a football field. <laughs> I'm like, come on, take a take a look, take a look, take a That's a thorough exam, I tell you what. 
I can see better when I laugh, though, aren't I? <laughs> Nouns, adjectives, verbs, dangling participles, onomatopoeias. What the hell is an onomatopoeia? Does anybody know what an onomatopoeia is? Really, I mean, really, you? Is anybody honest? Tell me. <laughs> 600 dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> Nobody knows what an onomatopoeia is. Yes, yes, miss, young miss. What's it, one more time? A word that sounds like the thing it describes. How old are you? Twelve, she's smarter than all you sons of bitches, really. <laughs> Stand up, girl, and get some applause right there on the mount of here. <laughs> so, so, like, correct me if I'm wrong, what's your name? What's your name? Caitlin, correct me if I'm wrong, onomatopoeia then is like, uh, dork. <laughs> boing, boing, okay, now, thank you, Caitlin, I, I know what an onomatopoeia is. Hey, hey, kids out there, look up here, looking at a 44-year-old guy who's made it through life fine without knowing what an onomatopoeia is. And kids, you know why I've made it through life fine without knowing what an onomatopoeia is? Because I can do this. <laughs> In fact, I do see some kids. There's a kid. I know him. Chris, Caitlin. Is there any is there young kids, school age? There's a cool school age, school age. Oh, good. A lot of them. Good. Oh, great. Some up there? Good. I'm going to show you something you can do in school. <laughs> like, when your teacher, when your teacher's up at the scrowl board, scrowling, and she's got one of these rigs going on right here. Like that? Can you see that? She's scrowling. I want your kids to raise your hand and say, Oh, teacher, teacher, teacher. Teacher say, Yeah, yeah, little Kaylee. Say, Teacher, must be you ain't paid your taxes. Teacher go, Oh, how come you say that? You say, Because, teacher, you got a letter in the mailbox. <laughs> letter in the mailbox, teacher. If your kids do that, you'll end up just like me. <laughs> and, then, and then the teacher will be like, teacher will be like, oh, I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. And you'll say, that's okay, teacher. We don't care just as long as you ain't sending it air, man. <laughs> <laughs>